Very good afternoon to one and all. First of all, uh, welcome to Lord Krishna of Engineering and Technology and uh, Autonomous Institution. My name is Haji Dattu. I am working as a assistant professor in Lord Krishna of Engineering and Technology from Department of Physics. Today, I am going to give a small presentation on uh, reflection and uh, refraction of uh, light. First of all, we need to discuss about the outline. What are the topics we are going to cover? So, first of all, introduction about the light. So, here we need to discuss about the, what is meant by light and how it is useful in our daily life. Like, uh, if any example is there, that examples we need to discuss here. Next, uh, a reflection of light. So, here we need to discuss about the, what is meant by reflection of light. And uh, when a ray of light uh, is falling on the surface, what we can call and when it is bounces back, okay, that time what will happen? This also we need to discuss a reflection of light. I hope you may understand. Next, uh, loss of reflection with diagram. Okay, so we need to discuss loss and the two with diagram. Okay, next, uh, loss of reflection. Here, two losses there first law of reflection as well as the second law of reflection that we need to discuss here. Next, uh, refraction of light. Here, we need to discuss about what is meaning by refraction of light and when a ray of light is traveling from one medium to another medium, okay, then what will happen? We need to discuss there, okay. Next, loss of refraction with the diagram. So, here we need to discuss about the loss and the two with diagram. Next, uh, last but not least, the loss of refraction. Here also two losses there. Uh, one is the first law of refraction, another one is uh, second law of refraction, okay. Next, uh, first of all, we need to discuss about the introduction about light. Here, what is meaning by light? Light is a form of energy which causes sensation of sight visible to see the things. Once again, I am repeating. Light is a form of energy which causes sensation of sight visible to see the things. And everyone knows sun is the primary or natural source of light. Okay. And uh, one uh, small example I will give. For example, one student is there. He is preparing for semester exams. And Dr. Mike Aitoka. Suddenly, power gone. Then what will happen? He is unable to read or unable to prepare because of due to light. After some time, power came. Then what will happen? He is able to read or he is able to prepare because of due to light. So that's what, what we are saying. Light is a form of energy which causes sensation of sight and visible to see the things. I hope you may understand. Okay. And next up, the reflection of light. I am seeing you Reflection of light is nothing but when light comes back into the same medium from a boundary separating between the two medium okay once again i am repeating when light comes back into the same medium from a boundary separating between the two medium okay now see if you are observing the diagram when a ray of light falling on the surface that we can call as an incident ray okay and incident ray bounces back into the same medium after striking the reflecting surface that we can call as a reflected ray if you are seeing the diagram means uh, we can understand very easily i hope you may understood okay this is about the reflection of light next we need to discuss about the loss of reflection with the diagram okay now see here let us consider we have taken a mirror when a ray of light falling on the surface that we can call as an incident ray okay and incident ray bounces back into the same medium after reflecting the surface that we can call as a, a reflected ray once again i'm repeating let us consider we have taken a mirror when a ray of light okay falling on the surface that we can call as an incident ray okay and incident ray bounces back into the same medium after uh, striking the reflecting surface that we can call as a reflected ray okay and if we draw a perpendicular at the point of incidence that we can call as a normal okay and there we can observe the angle between incident ray and the normal their eye is there their eye is nothing but angle of incident and there you can observe the angle between normal and a reflected ray so their all is there it's nothing but what's that angle of reflection okay i hope you may understood so there what is meaning by angle of incident and what is meaning by angle of reflection okay now here angle of incident is nothing but angle made by the incident ray with the normal to the surface that we can call as a angle of incidence what about the angle of reflection angle made by the reflected ray with the normal to the surface that we can call as a angle of reflection okay i hope you may understood okay this is about the total what is that the loss of reflection with the diagram here 
two losses there. One is what is that? Angle of incident is always equal to angle of reflection. Okay? And what is the second law for reflection? Incident ray, reflected ray, normal. At the point of incidence, all lie in the same plane. I hope you understood. Okay? Just, uh, just give me one second. Yeah. See, you can observe here. Let us consider we have taken a mirror, just example purpose. Okay. When a ray of light incident on this uh, surface, what we can call in English term meaning incident ray. Okay. Next one. Incident ray bounces back into the same medium after striking the reflecting surface that we can call as a reflected ray. Okay. And next, if we draw a perpendicular at the point of incidence, okay, that we can call as a normal. I hope you understood. Okay. Now once again I'm repeating. Let us consider we have taken a mirror. When a ray of light falling on the surface that we can call as an incident ray, okay, and incident ray bounces back into the same medium after striking the reflecting surface that we can call as a reflected ray. If we draw a perpendicular at the point of incident that we can call as a normal. Now we can observe here. So angle between incident ray and normal, this angle we can call as a what we can say angle of incidence I. Okay. And angle between normal and reflected ray, this angle we can call as a angle of reflection. I hope you may understood. Okay. Yeah, this is total about the loss of reflection in this diagram. Okay. Next one. See here loss of reflection. So here first law of reflection as well as the second law of reflection. What about the first law of reflection? Angle of incidence is equal to what is that? Angle of reflection. That means what? Angle I is equal to angle R. Okay. See here. Suppose for example if I is equal to 30. What about the R? Definitely 30 only. Okay. Actually few years back uh, I discussed with this topic uh, with some students. Okay. So I raised some questions like uh, if I is equal to 45. What about R? They said uh, R is equal to also 45 sir because of due to uh, first law of reflection. Then I raised one more question. Like if R is equal to 60, what about the I? Some students they are unable to say. Okay. So what we need to do, see here, whenever I is equal to something, if R is equal to also that something only. Okay. See, if R is equal to 60, automatically we need to say I is equal to also 60 only. Why? Right? Because due to first law of reflection. So I is equal to R. It's nothing but angle of incident is always equal to angle of reflection. Okay. And the next law, second law of reflection. Okay. See here, incident ray, reflected ray. Normal at the point of incident, all lie in the same plane. I hope you may understood. This is about the loss of reflection. Next, uh, we need to discuss about the refraction of light. Okay, yeah, it's a very interesting topic. A ray of light deviates from its original path while drawing from one optical medium to another optical medium. Okay, once again, I'm repeating a ray of light. Deviates from its uh, original path. Here, deviates is nothing but the diversion. That means what the, the ray it should be bent. Okay, so a ray of light deviates from its original path while drawing from one optical medium to another optical medium. There you can observe one diagram is there. Okay, now you can observe. Let us consider take a pencil. Okay, and uh, that pencil you need to put into the glass of water. There you can observe, okay, pencil will, okay, what will happen, can you please tell me, pencil will, it appears to pen, because of due to what is the reason, refraction, I hope you may understood, okay, so once again I am repeating, refraction of light is nothing but a ray of light, deviates from its original path, while drawing from one optical medium to another optical medium, okay, yeah, next we need to discuss about the loss of refraction with the diagram, there you can observe, let us consider we have taken a okay a plus interface okay see uh, see here you can observe when a ray of light incident on the a plus interface that we can call as a incident ray after what will happen it deviates from its original path while drawing from one optical medium to another optical medium there you can observe a is nothing but also a rarer medium Glass is nothing but tensor medium. So, when a ray of light is traveling from optically rarer medium to optically tensor medium, then what will happen? The refracted ray moves towards the normal. If you are observing the diagram, you can understand very easily. Okay? There, I is nothing but uh, okay, angle of incidence. There, R is nothing but angle of uh, refraction. Okay? Yeah. And what about the angle of incidence and what about the angle of refraction? Okay? Angle of incidence is nothing but angle between incident ray and normal. Normal, that we can call as a angle of incident. 
whatever the angle of refraction, angle between refracted ray and normal, that you can call as a angle of refraction. Okay, I hope you may understood. And next now, see here loss of refraction with the diagram. So diagram also we completed successfully, as well as angle of incident, as well as angle of refraction, we completed successfully. Okay. Now next now see here mainly. First law of refraction as well as the second law of refraction. What about the first law of refraction? Can you please tell me? See here, the incident ray, refracted ray, normal at the point of incident, all lie on the same plane. Once again, I'm repeating. First law of refraction, the incident ray, refracted ray, and the normal at the point of incident, all lie on the same plane. That we can call as the first law of refraction. What about the second law of refraction? See here. Sin i by sin r is equal to constant. This we can call as a Snell's law. Okay, that means what is that? The ratio of sin of angle of incident to the sin of angle of refraction is a constant. Okay, for a given pair of media, that we can call as a Snell's law. One second, I'm repeating. The ratio of sin of angle of incident to the sin of angle of refraction is a constant for a given pair of media, that we can call as a Snell's law. Okay, so we completed successfully first law of refraction as well as the second law of refraction. Okay, one important point I want to say once can you please observe the diagram? So, in the loss of refraction in the diagram, here one of important point is what is that means when a ray of light is traveling from optically radar medium to optically lensar medium, refracted ray moves towards the normal. That is what the move towards the normal like this. Okay, yeah, see here next year. When a ray of light is traveling from optically denser medium to optically radar medium, what is happening? The refracted ray moves away from the normal or just away from the normal. That is a very, very important point. I hope you can understand. Okay? Yeah. And uh, okay, actually, this is my complete uh, presentation. Okay, so that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much.